In our new fitness segment, Richie Rich and Catch a Fire visited Q's Fitness Center to get their exercise routine going for the fall. Take a look. Summer's here, and of course, winter's right around the corner. Fall, it's going to be upon you like no tomorrow. But we, right now, we are at Q Fitness Center, 1112 Rutland Road, corner of East 98th Street. And I have the master right here with me of Q Fitness, the man Quinn. How you doing, Quinn? I'm good, man. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. Now, I, I really feel like working out tonight, but I'm not going to work out. I'm going to let Catch a Fire work out tonight. Is that okay? That's perfect. All right. Let's talk about a beginner's course when it comes to working out. What can a person do at home, the things that they can do? Where should we start? Well, we start with some simple and basic, straightforward movements. I mean, we call it movements of life. You know, we can start with like something like a simple jumping jack, squats, um, push-ups, um, and abdomen. That way we try to work the full body in intact. Rather than saying we're breaking it down and doing individual aspects, we move in that full core for the full body aspects of it. Okay, so let's talk about a jumping jack, for instance. How important is form? How important is posture when it comes to a jumping jack? Well, we can use the jumping jack for um, a warm-up, basically. We can use it as a warm-up, basically. Before beginning and starting any fitness program, you should have either a warm-up and a cool-down. So in this case, we can use the jumping jack as a warm-up. And in that case, you know, simple, simple things to look for is um, protecting your knees and your back because those are the way you can cause spinal injuries or knee injuries. You know, one, two, three, four. Don't try to dip your legs too low. So five, six, seven, eight. Now let's, let's go into a squat. All right, so now I want you to focus on pushing your hips back a little bit more. One, two, not too much on the upper body, just a little bit on the hips. Go three. Come on, give me a little bit more, like 90 degrees. Four, that's it, good. Five, good. No, six, seven. Inhale as you come up, breathe out as you come up. Seven, eight, nine, 10. Give me two more, you can handle two more. 11, last one, last one. And 12. Good. Relax. Relax right there. Good. Let's just talk about lower back injuries and spinal. Let's talk about a toe touch. Okay. Now, we, the, well, the back and the abdomen move as one movement. As, you know, if you strengthen the back, you have to strengthen the abdomen. So now, taking it to a toe touch is something we can use for the rectus abdomen. This helps focus on the, the total rectus abdomen. We can use it in ways to strengthen your core, and at the same time, it facilitates in helping the back aspect. It will help in strengthening the back from the aspect. So that means now we can sort of go from toe touching into, let's say, a push-up, simple push-up. Well, yeah. And we can go to, we can use in this form, since it's a beginner's fitness, we can use a modified version of a push-up. Rather than a full push-up, we can use the modified aspect where it helps that person to strengthen the upper body, the upper extremities, the body, arms, shoulders, chest, which the chest becomes the primary muscle groups. The, the triceps and the biceps become the secondary muscle groups right in there. And the push-up is great for upper body strength. Ten. We can shoot for 12. We That's shoot 12. For 12. 11. I know she can get two more. And since you get fit or die, we can do one more. And we call that 12. Good, relax. Rich, did you hear my elbow crack? <laughs> it cracked. I heard it. As I said, we're going to wrap things up here at Q Fitness. And, of course, this is the um, fall. Working our way into the fall. Working our way into the winter. Again, here with Q of Quinn Fitness Center as we wrap things up. Zinc TV, Richie Rich, Catch a Fire. Quinn, and of course, the Dreadless Rats right here inside Q Fitness Center.